Well, let's welcome a new voice and a new face to the program. Elizabeth Lee is the ACT Liberal leader. She's 42 years of age. She was born in South Korea. She migrated to Australia from South Korea in 1986 when she was seven. She grew up in Western Sydney. She moved to Canberra at 18 to study law and Asian studies at the ANU, and she's lived and worked there ever since. Recently, she spoke splendidly at the Federal Council of the Liberal Party. And I thought we should hear from her. So, Elizabeth, thank you for your time. Welcome to the program. I get us a bit late in the day to say welcome to Australia, but it's a pretty special story. So you came here with your mum and dad. You were seven. Rosie, your sister, was five. And then Sarah was born two years later. I love the fact that you publicly said your parents worked as labourers and cleaners in takeaway shops. Your dad had a go at small business, not once but twice, went broke twice, debt collectors coming around to your house. Were you aware at the time, as a little girl, of the heartbreak of your parents losing almost everything? Thank you, Alan, for having me here. It's great to be here. And, uh, yeah, it's funny because, obviously, when you're young and uh, you look up to your parents and they're going through all this, and certainly when I reflect now, there were so many challenging times. But at the time, I didn't realise that it was a difficult time for them. And that's because they always filled us with a lot of joy, a lot of hope and a lot of inspiration. I mean, my dad used to also be an excavator and he'd go out to work and uh, face a lot of, uh, you know, uh, challenging situations, not understanding English and having to talk to his workmates, but he always came back and talked to us about the great opportunities that this country was giving us, and, uh, I, and I'm very grateful for that. And your mum and dad are still alive, and you say you are where you are, leader of the Liberal Party in the ACT, because of the sacrifices your parents made. I mean, it is a big sacrifice, isn't it? You're leaving behind culture, language, family and friends. So what do your parents say with their daughter is the first Korean Australian to be elected to an Australian parliament. What do they think? Of course, my parents are very, very proud of uh, my achievements as well as for my sisters as well. And uh, But, you know, I wouldn't be where I am today if it wasn't for their sacrifices. And from a young age, I used to say to my sisters, you know, my parent, our parents gave up so much in terms of, uh, you know, moving to this new country so that we could have better opportunities. And that's why it really, really embedded in us some of those Australian Wonderful. values, those Wonderful. liberal values to succeed. Well, you're the first Australian, uh, Asian Australian to lead a major political party, a migrant in Western Sydney, which often has pejorative overtones. As a kid out there, how foreign was that world? Did you feel or do you feel by what you're doing now that you're inspiring other migrant Australians to have a place in Australian public life? I, I certainly hope so, and because, you know, when I was growing up in Western Sydney, when you go to school and there's uh, no one that looks like you, when you don't understand what your teachers are saying and, and uh, you know, you're the face that stands out in a, in a sea of uh, ang Anglo faces, it really does make it difficult. And for me, when I was young, there is absolutely no way that I would have even thought about, even fathomed a career in Australian public life or in Australian politics. And so if I can play some small role in uh, making sure that migrant people, especially young women know that they have a place in Australian politics, that they have a place in Australian public life, then it's a pretty extraordinary position to be Amazing. in. Amazing. Brilliantly articulate. Spoken beautifully. Mind you, the Labor Party, Elizabeth, talk about diversity and inclusion, but the Canberra Liberals pre-selected, then elected the first Asian Australian leader of an Australian party. I mean, I don't want to go into political detail today because I think we can actually talk about that later. We want to have you on again. But I was impressed with your speech. You talked about first home buyers. If I could just inject one political point. I mean, in spite of interest rates, how hard is it? First home buyers. If it's a $500,000 purchase, you'd need a minimum deposit of $75,000. Who's got that money? That's exactly right, Alan. And, you know, if you're talking about the ACT, I mean, $500,000, you'd be lucky to find a home uh, for $500,000 yeah. here. We're talking a quarter of the ACT with a median house price of a $1 million. I mean, this is absolutely outrageous. And sticking to the ACT, when you've got the ACT government that actually controls many of the levers that impact directly on land prices, then you know that this is a government that is not doing right by Australians. Mm. You also talked in that speech about record investment in skills and training, but now that we've closed off foreign students and foreign workers, there are massive skills shortages. Have we relied on overseas workers for too long? 
Yeah, that's an interesting question. And one of the things that you'll see from this ACT Labor Greens government is definitely uh, a skills shortage, but also their failure to actually invest in local talent. And that's something that is coming to a head. You know, during a pandemic, when this ACT Labor Greens government is talking about making sure that we stimulate the economy, there was an underspend of $250 million in the infrastructure program. Now, that is saying something. You are wonderful. Look, I said I wouldn't get into the politics of it all. I just <laughs> wanted our I just wanted our viewers to see a new face, hear a new voice, and a great success story. So Elizabeth, we will talk again. You keep at it. You're really on the right tram. Absolutely. Great to talk to you. Thank there you she so is. much, El Alan. Elizabeth Lee is an extraordinary, the leader of the Liberal Party in the ACT.